and I didn't care. I was more worried about who to play tag with at school, where the best trees were to hide away from the heat. When I first felt it, the tug of something called a crush, my body became a stranger to me, a force of nature, leaving me confused and annoyed. Transgender. Whispering in my ear, slowly growing louder and louder until it's impossible to ignore any longer. That what I am is not wrong. That I can change the outcome of my story. Transgender. It's just a word that describes who I am and what I am going through. Nonetheless, I call it my home and I can finally be me. Comfortable, proud, and loved. Making the pain and hardness of this world disappear for a while. I am no woman. No matter what people may say, I am not ashamed of who I am, nor turn my face against humanity. And I'm still here. I'm here, standing in front of you all, and I'm controlling the narrative. Instead, loving both is finally embracing it, realizing you were built to love women dancing in flowing dresses just as much as men with messy hair and smiles as sweet as honey. We have a habit of hearing things we don't understand. I thought my dreams fall asleep on me. Broken promise at 10, I was told that my time in this country came with an expiration date. Hopping on that Black Lives Matter movement just for the clout, until it turns into All Lives Matter, as if they didn't in the start. You see, y'all love turning something into nothing or about you. It was never about you. The target was never for you. I can't breathe. I wish y'all could see the tears of our ummah, hear the screams of our families. Oh man, what's happened to humanity? They told me life would be easier here, easier here where my prosperity makes me an outlier, where my pain is entertainment, where I'm both a weapon and target practice. I left Nigeria a child, landed in Canada a suspect. I don't care much for statistics. In fact, I find them rather frightening. 49 Muslims dropped dead inside of a mosque, 11 Jews shot at in a synagogue in Pittsburgh, 300 Christians bombed on Easter Sunday. Believers dying for the sake of believing, that's why it hurts. It hurts. Meanwhile, 1.8 million Chinese Muslims are being held in concentration camps. You see, my mama don't like it when I leave the house wearing my thobe. She says, go on and change your clothes cause I'm phobia is all people know. Our trailer burned down. My mom thought I was inside. That would have been the third kids my parents lost, but I wasn't. I've been forgotten and left behind, but I'm still here. I've been in the car with a drunk driver, but I'm still here. Because you see, I stay up most every night, haunted by stats. Stats about the homicides, suicides, and accidents. The numbers encircle my mind, so I watch each step, careful not to step into train tracks and have to watch the oncoming train. 16. That was before Dad was diagnosed with cancer. Is he okay now? One is never considered okay after cancer. Someone once told me I can't be black and Somali, as if Somali people aren't black, as if Somali's a race, as if black is a poison nobody wants to touch. It's a sad fact, but still a fact. As a child, I was told that I can be anything I dream up. Because the world leaders, the preachers, the athletes, the teachers, they all started out just like me. The world has gone all in on my life and stacked the deck, so I'm lucky to survive. This poetry is self-defense. The FBI reports over 1,000 anti-LGBTQ hate crimes have occurred every year since 2013 in the U.S. alone. This, I've been afraid of the numbers ever since. I was too young to know what was going on, but the memories, the crystal clear water of my brain crashing, thrashing, creating tidal waves and tsunamis. I think about it every day. I just want it to go away. I want it all to stop, fix it with just one pop. The answer seems just so clear, yet I'm still here. The first her was unexpected. A question I didn't have the answer to in a storm I couldn't predict, so I tried to hide the thunder in my heart, waiting for my feelings to go away, and they almost did. Almost. Loving both is realizing you don't quite fit right in the label of gay or straight. Loving both is admitting to yourself you can't seem to make a choice, but never accepting it as second nature and ending with a refrain of, I'm not gay! Telling me that I'm not good enough or trans enough to be myself. Treating me like I don't have to be worried or scared. Treating me the way the parent I didn't have should have. Keeping me safe and making me feel loved. Protected, comforted, loved. Finally giving me the peace I so desperately wanted. A lot has happened, but I'm still here. Until you finally meet her. She is beautiful. Everything you could wish for and more. And though you were only friends, you realize a storm in your chest, the dark clouds in your head were signs of how happy you would be when she kissed you for her fingers. The sun rose into your smile. You can't repress it anymore. It's for all those mothers who cannot control their children and that their children weren't raised right. And that the police are not the real criminals here. The only crime here is parenting. No police officer would shoot someone unless they deserved it, right? Bang. 
unless they were gangsters or drug dealers, which they probably were. All y'all got hoodies too. Hoods up, up guns, guns down, down, hands up, don't, don't shoot. shoot. In the hopes and dreams of a generation persecuted for existing, then your life is based on broken promises. Verbal commitments, driving persistence, mixing resentment with false hope. So when I have a child, I will not make false promises. They will know that broken people with broken dreams want to break your spirit, break you down into boxes, slap labels on them to contain you, cage you, name you, danger, menace, hopeless, broken promise. I don't care much for statistics. So I'm gonna get through this anyways. Finally, I hope I can live happily with her or him and know that love is and always will be second nature to me. Transgender, it started as a whisper and is now a roaring lion, impossible to ignore. Today I found a dime and it was heads up, so I hold mine high. If we only focus on the bad, how could we ever experience the joy of the good?